Hey everyone, my name is Leila and today I want to show you my 10 budget hidden gems that I purchased during this uh, month, during April 2022, um, except only one, um, like 9 out of this 10 uh, are my blind buys during this month and I love them. When I say budget, I mean fragrances that are less than $50, um, I'm probably the, the most expensive one will be $45, $47 in today's list. I want to start with a fragrance that, uh, as I said, I purchased not during this month, um, but this year. Uh, but I haven't showed it, but this is such a beautiful hidden gem that I think I must show it, especially because uh, it's um, springtime and the summer is coming. It's, you know, it, here in my region, it's already summer. Um, but I don't see people talking much about this fragrance. Uh, I'm talking about Kenzo World Power and for me this fragrance uh, is really a hidden gem because I think this is the case when the fragrance being a designer fragrance smells like niche. It definitely does. If you look in the Fragrantica, you will see it has only three notes mentioned. It's a cypress, it's a tonka beans and salt. It's definitely salty, it's definitely um, fresh because of the cypress. It's woody but at the same time it's uh, piney, it's fresh and it's sweet because of tonka beans. And all together it creates this Mediterranean um, seaside cafe um, vacation mood, I would say. It's definitely a best, one of the best fragrances, I think, in the budget segment for um, vacation that gives you that Mediterranean vibes, uh, salty vibes. It's something in between um, Reveal by Calvin Klein and um, Pac uh, Pac Rabanne's Olympia. But I would say Pac Rabanne's Olympia is also salty, but it's more sweet it's more, I would say, probably superficial. It's uh, less serious, definitely. This one is more serious. It leans more to the Calvin Klein's reveal. However, it's less challenging, I would say. It's more crowd-pleasing type of fragrance. And um, I, I like this fragrance a lot. And let's say um, when I showed it to my mom when she visited us, she also liked it a lot. And this fragrance is quite concentrated and must admit it performs really well. It lasts on the skin, on the clothes, all day long. It's a very prominent type of fragrance, like noticeable. It has a very noticeable projection and sillage. So yeah, in, terms of, in terms of performance, everything is top notch. I would say this is one of the best blind buys of my um, this year, I would say. Um, the fragrance that I don't see people talking much about, but it really deserves every single dollar that I do harm in my case that I spent. Um, and I highly suggest and advise you to pay attention to this fragrance if you're looking for something like that. Uh, so uh, I'm not a fan of the original Kenzo World, um, but the Kenzo World Power is definitely a very unique scent that I can highly recommend you. Uh, another fragrance that I think is also nice and gives you a vacation vibes is a fragrance from Nina Ricci and this is Chant Dextas. Um, this uh, fragrance, about this fragrance, I found out from one of my subscribers. She uh, said in one of the comments under my video, she said that this is a fragrance that she recommends me to try because it's quite unique and it stands out from the whole Lexstars line and I completely agree with her because this is definitely something really different and probably the color of the bottle and also the box um, uh, with a picture of mermaid uh, definitely tells you what this fragrance is about. It's a very fresh aquatic marine like but salty. Um, a bit coconutty, I can smell coconut here, although it's not mentioned in the list of notes. Um, a bit sweet, vanilla and caramel like fragrance for um, seaside, for beach, for vacation. It is um, 
not serious at all it's very young and I don't want to call it superficial uh, however it is really light and it is really um, it's not challenging at all I cannot call this fragrance sophisticated no it is really simple one well made um, fragrance for a positive very positive fragrance for vacation that you can take with you on the seaside on the beach in the hotel if you're going to um, don't expect too much from this fragrance it's I would say fresh it has some citrus notes some pink pepper notes a bit coconutty just a tiny bit salty solar I would say um, and uh, vanillic and caramelly type of fragrance it doesn't last long it's um, very easy to evaporate and um, it's something that you will need to refresh uh, but it's a very good uh, fragrance a very good cheapy cheapy I would say because it's quite an inexpensive one um, that you can find now on the market online and take with you on vacation if you're looking for something like that uh, but definitely I would say uh, it's very uh, modern fragrance um, because nowadays it's not very unique you can find something like this on the market definitely but for this price I think this is very good fragrance for um, vacation uh, the next fragrance is from um, the brand that I don't have any other fragrances from yeah, this is Oscar de la Renta and this is my first fragrance from Oscar de la Renta. It's called Lavender. Um, I don't quite like the bottle, frankly speaking, especially this cheap plastic, plastic cap. Um, however, I like the fragrance a lot. Um, it's supposed to smell like lavender, but I would say it's not a... Um, it's, it's not the very naturalistic lavender it's very I can't call it synthetic I would say it is very perfumery like uh, lavender it's like a perf perf perfumery interpretation of lavender it's a bit soapy but at the same time it is a bit powdery sweet uh, very cozy it has a little bit of coconut it's creamy but the coconut here is mentioned like coconut water but I can smell it like a real coconut like a coconut milk I would say because it's milky it's creamy um, and it's a bit soapy and it's very cozy I would say this is a perfect fragrance to go to to the bed uh, with uh, it's perfect fragrance to wear at home when you want to feel cozy it's a bit sweet but it's nice it's a nice warm cozy fragrance for every day it smells a little bit powdery a bit coconutty a bit creamy a bit lavender but again not like a naturalistic lavender but like a perfumery like lavender uh, but altogether it's a good fragrance uh, I recommend it I do I liked it the next fragrance surprised me um, and again this is the first fragrance from this brand uh, this is Korloff and the fragrance is called majestic tuberose um, I have only 30 um, um, mil here that's why this fragrance wasn't expensive at all like it was around $35 35 to 40 but it smells much more expensive than it costs it smells definitely like a niche fragrance uh, it even, I think, reminds someone, some fragrance from L'Art Saint Parfumer, also about the tuberose. This is a spicy tuberose. It's creamy, spicy, like peppery. It has lots and lots of pepper on the top, uh, like pink pepper. I would say probably even um, black pepper as well. It has ylang. It has sandalwood, I think, because it has some woody and patchouli base. It's nice. It's really, really nice. But you need to like two very strong notes um, to like this fragrance you need to like tuberose and pepper if you don't like either one of them you wouldn't enjoy this fragrance that's why i'm telling this is a bit challenging in terms of um, the combination of these two notes because these are the most prominent ones 
the, um, the, the tuberose and the pink pepper and also again I can smell the black pepper as well but altogether I would say this fragrance surprised me with the quality the quality wise this is definitely a very good uh, fragrance made out of good ingredients uh, you can smell it and it really smells like uh, an expensive fragrance and a niche fragrance so the longevity projection everything is really good for this fragrance and again uh, I think 30 ml is more than enough for this fragrance because it's quite potent one um, and for 35 40 dollars this is an amazing fragrance this is my discovery and I'm very happy that I have it um, because recently I started you know loving tuberose before probably I wasn't um, old enough for that but now I am um, the next fragrance is also something that I was planning to buy for a long time but I was scared because I read some controversial reviews about that like uh, people were you know the, the, the reviews were very opinions they were very polarizing um, but recently I decided that I need this fragrance especially after I looked at the notes and I realized that there is nothing to be scared about um, and I'm so happy that I did that I'm talking about Jupe La Bain, La Bain, probably La Bain. Um, this is really pretty and really good and very unexpected, unexpected fragrance for me because I can smell cherry here. The same cherry I can smell in Jupe Homme, uh, but I like this one much, much better because this one is it smells a little bit like cola I read someone in the uh, program also mentioned that it smells like cherry cola yes uh, it's like cherry cola plus vanilla plus amber it's very warm it's woody it's sweet um, it's fresh at the top especially it has some citruses uh, but altogether I would say it's very pleasant fragrance especially in the middle notes and dry down it's really nice and the top notes like uh, the jupe om it can be a little bit synthetic on the top but wait for you know 15 to 20 minutes and when it starts to dry down it's really pleasant really for that money this is really nice um, I, again I was surprised because I was scared to have you know to, to get something herbaceous very challenging um, but it's not it's really uh, easy to like type of fragrance so don't be scared and the name Labain um, it also you know is can be a bit uh, you know misguiding and uh, you might think that this is something herbaceous again for me Labain I believe that this is like a bath or like sauna um, something related to that I don't know exactly what this the translation and I was expecting something really herbaceous that you know the herbs that you smell in sauna but this is not no this is warm sweet um, a bit fresh on the top ambery a bit cherry a bit powdery but not that powdery like jupe on but just a tiny bit really nice fragrance with a very good longevity and projection and performance is really good and for this money this is really good fragrance the next fragrance is very budget one um, and this is a fragrance that I want to mention I cannot say that this is my favorite because I'm not a big fan of the DNA of the fragrance it tries to copy however just because it's a fragrance of a good quality I want to mention it uh, this is um, Anna Abiat Rouge from La Taffa. it's a very very budget fragrance like something about $15 <clears throat> and this is a fragrance that was inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540 and um, I would say it copies the DNA really well and altogether for that price I would say uh, this is a really good quality I again need to remind myself every time when I'm scared to buy fragrances that are within $20 range uh, because I 
don't expect something you know really good in quality from that price i need to remind myself that in arabic brands it's possible it's definitely possible so this is one of the cases it's really good copy of Baccar Rouge that I must admit like even better than the original because it's more fresh, it's more airy, it has less medicinal and hospital-like uh, notes. It's, it's not sweeter, I would say it's fresher. Probably that's why I like it more. And um, performance-wise, I wouldn't say this is really, uh, you know, something really strong, not at all. Probably I like it even more because of that. Uh, and it's also molecular, it's um, a very diffusing type of fragrance. On the clothes it stays longer than on the skin, but you can get some five to six hours from this fragrance in terms of performance, and I think this is more than enough. Um, again, this is not love for me, but definitely I liked it, and I didn't expect uh, this good quality from um, you know for this price uh, but anyway again this is a arabic brand and uh, in arabic brands this happens a lot and um, i'll show you another example of that 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 amazed me but i will leave it to the end because that will be my um, favorite fragrance from today's list the next fragrance is a bit nostalgic for me because i used to wear it on my early 20s and 2000 um, it's from Moschino, Cheap and Chic. Um, I think you know this fragrance. So it's it's not like a discovery. However, I wanted to buy this fragrance because of the bottle, because of the fragrance itself. However, um, the fragrance was reform reformulated, uh, unfortunately. Uh, it reminded me of the fragrance that I used to wear, but only probably 50% of that uh, DNA left here. Uh, it used to be a very mm, um, sharp, I would say quite mature floral fragrance uh, for a, a lady who the most probably is 30 plus, but I was only 20 at that time, but I loved it. And it was for the lady who um, who who is ready to battle all the challenges in her life. and. This is a th that was a fragrance for the for the winner, and I was facing some challenges at that time, and this fragrance helped me to you know uh, go through all those uh, problems, and I'm very thankful for this fragrance uh, because it uh, really again is a fragrance with a strong charisma and character that helps you to have that spine and to you know raise your nose and to. Uh, look ahead and think that everything will be fine. This is that type of fragrance it used to be but nowadays It's um, not that type of fragrance anymore because they modernized it. They made it more soapy powdery This is a very very floral fragrance. I would say it has lots of different flowers. It has rose It has cyclamen. It has iris um, It has orchid and I can smell definitely orchid here that, that you know uh, a bit uh, dusty uh, aspect of the orchid um, it is very powdery nowadays soapy powdery floral with a um, some fresh top notes like uh, citrusy notes but it used to be uh, less powdery I think more floral before and it definitely was not soapy at that time I used to wear like the whole bottle and then when I had no money I purchased the miniatures of that fragrance two or three probably I finished so I remember really well this fragrance I don't regret though I know that this fragrance was discontinued and I'm very happy that I will have this uh, very funky funny bottle in my collection which by the way doesn't suit the character of the fragrance because the fragrance is about a strong lady and this bottle doesn't tell me anything about the strong lady. Probably now the bottle suits the fragrance because it doesn't have that charisma anymore. It doesn't have, it's not that strong woman anymore. However, I'm happy that I have it. Um, the next fragrance I purchased online but it wasn't a blind buy because I tested it in the in the 
um, in the store and I loved it. I just loved it. I didn't expect that I would love this fragrance. I'm talking about Versace Blue Jeans. It's a fragrance from uh, 90s, if I'm not mistaken. It's quite an old fragrance. And if you look in the fragrance, the pyramid of this fragrance is really huge. It has 24 notes and there are lots of notes. It has citruses, it has florals, it has sage, it has herbs, like it has vanilla and tonka beans and the bottom notes. There are lots and lots of different notes. Uh, and I'm showing you the, the packaging, by the way, just because, you know, uh, I think it's cool. It's a tin box and uh, the bottle looks like a vintage uh, cola bottle, I think, or something like that. I mean, it's like a real bottle. And the fragrance is surprisingly good. It's, um, it's like fougere, but with a um, fresh aquatic aspect to me. It definitely smells blue, but it smells also herbaceous. I can smell here sage definitely, and I love it. I love that it has sage. It's, it's very citrusy, it's a tiny bit floral, it's uh, sweet from the other hand, it's like it has some a little bit of vanilla and tonka, but all together, like it's fresh, sweet, um, clean. I wouldn't say barbershop, it doesn't smell like a barbershop to me at all, that's why I loved it and I bought it. Uh, for myself, not for my husband, for myself, because I think this is an absolutely androgynous type of fresh fragrance that I can easily see on a woman. I think this is a total unisex with a very good, surprisingly good performance, by the way, for, for the fresh fragrance. It's quite a good performance. It's, it lasts um, on the skin, it lasts on the clothes. Uh, for the, you know, the, the majority, the, the main part of the day, I could smell it and it's really nice. Again, surprisingly nice because I heard about this fragrance, like someone said, blue jeans, blue jeans, and I saw mm, the bottle shows me like the color of the juice. It tells that this is some so, some sort of aquatic, uh, probably cheap synthetic fragrance, but it surprisingly is not. Um, yes, probably the start is somehow just a tiny bit um, more perfumery like and a bit, just a bit, tiny bit synthetic, but the dry down and the sillage of this fragrance is really good. It's really good. And it doesn't smell outdated at all. Like it doesn't smell like a old fragrance. It's very uh, modern type of fragrance that I can easily smell on. I can easily see on uh, any age group, like in teenagers, because um, my son liked this fragrance and he used it. Um, I mean, anyone can wear this. And for the price, uh, it's some something around um, 18 to 20 dollars online i think this is really good really good so uh, if you like that type of fragrances and even if you are a lady don't be afraid that this fragrance is marketed as a ma masculine as a man fragrance it is not it is a really good uh, fresh um, herbaceous uh, a bit sweet um, clean, out of the shower type of fragrance. The next fragrance is again in a tin bottle and in a tin box and I wanted to show it to you in the packaging as well um, because I find it uh, interesting and nice. Uh, this is Ted Lapidus and it's a white soul golden diamonds and this is also a fragrance that I was not expected to love but i did um i loved it because it reminds me a lot of the dna of this fragrance it reminds me of the dna of my favorite fragrances from um Mugler. it's something like um original alien or something in between original and the flankers of uh, fresher flankers of alien um, this is how the bottle looks like, by the way. It's gold color, this shape. Um, it has a very prominent citrusy um, start. It has orange and neroli on the top. And by the way, this fragrance smells much more expensive than it costs. 
definitely does. And it has a lot of jasmine, and I think it's magnolia or some other white florals uh, in the um, in the middle. And it has definitely some vanilla. Uh, probably this fragrance has uh, orchid, um, vanilla orchid on the base. Yes, it's floral, a bit woody, a bit ambery. Uh, it's a bit powdery. I think it has heliotrope um, and jasmine. It's definitely there. It's bold. You know, it's um, it's really all about jasmine here. Plus citrusy notes and neroli on the top. And you can smell all this in this fragrance. And it's really nice. It's well made. It lasts long, and it projects like it performs. It performs really well and. All together for that price I think this is a hidden gem it's really nice fragrance and I purchased another fragrance once it was Roomba I think from Ted Laplace and I didn't like it and I returned it and I didn't want to buy anything else from that brand however I tried this one and I liked it I liked it a lot and the last but not least is the star of today's show is my recent discovery from again from La Taffa. Um, by the way, this fragrance also was from La Taffa. Uh, this one is also from La Taffa and I wanted to show you the packaging of this fragrance because it's phenomenal, I think. It's very well made. It's not cheap at all. Um, and the fragrance is called Ajuad. This is how the packaging looks and I think it's really good. It's really nice. It's really well made. The quality of the um, the box and aesthetically I would say it's also really nice and this is how the box opens and this is how the bottle looks like it's like a, a ceramic mosaic type of um, decoration like a really nice and I like the color combination as well uh, if you want I'll show you it closer um, it's uh, the cap is made of wood real wood um, and this is how it looks like and it's really a good quality bottle and this is a ceramic or metal or something or glass probably but it's of a very good quality nothing to complain about definitely um, really nice um, and the fragrance is definitely fragrance inspired by however it's a different interpretation I would say it's not the fragrance that tries to copy um, this is a fragrance that reminds me two fragrances it reminds me Intense Cafe by Mantel uh, in my case the one that I have uh, is Delex by Tiziana Terenzi. Uh, I don't have an uh, intense cafe, but I know they share similar DNA. Uh, and it reminds me of Delina by Parfums de Morley. Like It's like the combination of these two fragrances, but in a better way, I would say even. I can smell here aldehydes, because this fragrance has that ozonic aspect, that cold air that makes it fresher than um, Intense Cafe. It has lychee, definitely. It has that fruity aspect that uh, is quite similar to Delina. That's why it gives me the Delina vibes. Uh, but it definitely has that rosy, uh, lactonic, a bit um, sweet, vanillic aspect that uh, Intense Cafe has. But it's less musky than Intense Cafe and less musky than um, um, Delina. That's why I like it. I like it a lot. And I cannot get enough of this fragrance recently, you know. And even today, I will spray it on me because I just love it. It's gourmand, but at the same time, because of that ozonic vibe, ozonic note, like metallic, uh, cold, fresh, it is not edible. It doesn't smell like food. Um, it doesn't have that uh, coffee accord, I would say. It's mostly fruity, rosy, floral, 
um, they say it has jasmine but I would say I can more feel a rose here like I would say rose it's a dominant note here the rose like in an intense cafe mixed with a fresher rose like in Delina I would say probably even Delina exclusive because it's sweeter this fragrance is definitely sweet it's sweet on the top it's fresh it's floral it's fruity all together and it's really well made I would say unexpectedly well made for the fragrance for $20 all this for $20 really this is amazing uh, this is amazing again as a present or again I cannot get enough of this fragrance I'm wearing it already for a week I cannot stop because I like it because I even though outside it's very hot I still enjoy because it's uh, this fragrance because even though it's sweet on the top it is as I said ozonic it has that oxygen it has that air um, it has this cold fresh air like air conditioned um, vibe to it uh, on the top and I love the rose here I love the uh, this caramel and vanilla here I love everything about this fragrance really and the packaging I enjoy holding this in my hand and I like the box you know it's I still keep it in the box because I love this taking it out of the box is like a process for me you know and I enjoy all the surfaces the design really so again this is another um, example of the Arabic brands for the very very attractive and reasonable price can create something really nice and you know really uh, deserving attention um, and I don't know if people are talking about this fragrance I believe it's quite new but it's really nice um, I think this is all for today and I hope this video was useful and it was interesting and you found something new for yourself some fragrances that you haven't heard about um, and if um, I managed to help you somehow um, I will be very happy and appreciate if you could give me a thumb up, thumbs up and support my channel um, uh, if you haven't yet subscribed I invite you to do so don't forget to press that notification bell to be notified about my next video I try to publish videos every Saturday um, by the way again if you have any suggestions uh, please let me know if you have any hidden gems you want to advise and you want to share um, this information about please do so in the comments uh, I'll be more than happy and again uh, for me this is another source of information and um, I think it will be very useful probably again I'll find something else for myself um, and um, if you have any of today's fragrances please let me know what do you think about them do you agree with me or disagree let's have some uh, discussion and uh, I love reading all your comments thanks a lot again for them um, and as always I want to wish you all the best and um, thanks again for watching me and I hope to see you in my next video next week see you bye